Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be looking at Ghana's mineral resource with key emphasis on manganese. Ghana is on a mission to refine its manganese locally and doing away with the old practice of exporting raw materials abroad. Don't forget to like this video, comment and share it on all various platforms. Also, do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any update on this channel. Ghana has long been a land of wealth, blessed with natural resources like gold, cocoa and oil. But there's one key mineral that often flies under the radar, which is manganese. This mineral is essential for many global industries, from steel production to battery manufacturing for electrical vehicles. Today, we will be exploring a groundbreaking development, which is the Ghana Manganese Refinery Project. This refinery marks a significant turning point where Ghana is no longer just exporting raw materials, but adding value through local refining. In this video, we will unpack the history, the purpose of this project, and how it will shape Ghana's economy for years to come. Manganese has been mined in Ghana for over a century, mainly from Insuta in the western part of Ghana. Ghana is one of the largest producers of manganese in Africa, contributing significantly to the global supply of this mineral. Historically, Ghana's manganese was exported as raw ore without any processing. This meant that the country missed out on a large chunk of the potential revenue that could come from refining and adding value locally. The Ghana Manganese Company, which operates the largest manganese mine in Insuta, has played a key role in this sector. However, despite their efforts, manganese mining in Ghana hasn't reached its full potential in terms of maximizing economic benefits. Until now, much of the ore was shipped abroad for refining. The government's new initiative aims to change that with a domestic manganese refinery, allowing Ghana to process its own mineral resources. So, what is this manganese refinery project all about? Essentially, it is a large-scale industrial facility being constructed to refine the raw manganese ore that is mined locally. Instead of exporting raw ore, Ghana will now have the capacity to process and refine manganese domestically. The idea behind this is simple, adding value to the raw materials before it's sold to increase its market price, bringing more revenue into the country. I think this is a good one. The refinery will transform the manganese ore into high-grade manganese, which is essential for the steel industry and increasingly for the production of batteries, especially as electronic vehicles grow in demand. By refining manganese domestically, Ghana will not only secure a better price for its exports, but also build industrial capacity that can spare economic growth. This project isn't just a national effort, it involves both local and international stakeholders. The Ghanaian government has made it a priority as part of their broader industrialization strategy. However, the manganese refinery also benefits from significant foreign investment with companies from countries like China and South Africa, who are major players in global manganese production, showing keen interest. The refinery is estimated to cost hundreds of millions of dollars to construct, but expected returns are much higher. This investment isn't just about immediate gains, it's about positioning Ghana as a leader in manganese processing in the years to come. By attracting international investors, the project is also facilitating technology transfer, which will enhance Ghana's technical know-how in manganese refining. Now, let's find out where this refinery will be built and why is it important for it to be built 
in that specific location. The manganese refinery is being constructed near the Insuta mine, the largest manganese deposit in Ghana. This proximity is crucial because it minimizes transportation costs, ensuring that the manganese can be brought directly from the mine to the refinery with maximum efficiency. Another important factor is the refinery's location near major infrastructures like the ports and rail lines. Ghana's Takradi port, for example, plays a key role in the export of minerals, and the refinery's connection to this port ensures easy access to international markets. The railway line between Insuta and Takrade will facilitate the smooth movement of refined manganese, making Ghana a more competitive exporter of value-added manganese products. Now, this project aims at boosting the economy and creating jobs. So let's see how this will turn out. The economic impact of the refinery will be substantial. It's estimated that thousands of jobs will be created during the construction phase. But even more importantly, many permanent positions will be opened up once the refinery is operational. These jobs will range from engineers and technicians to laborers and support staff, providing opportunities for locals and helping to boost the standard of living in nearby communities. Beyond direct employment, there's a ripple effect. Businesses that supply goods and services to the refinery will also benefit from local suppliers of raw materials to transportation companies. The refinery will stimulate multiple sectors, creating an ecosystem of growth. While the refinery promises economic benefits, it's also important to consider the environmental impact. Manganese refining is an industrial process that can potentially produce waste and emissions. However, the project is committed to adhering to stringent environmental standards. Waste management systems will be put in place to ensure that the surrounding environment, particularly local water sources, are not contaminated by industrial runoff. Additionally, sustainable mining practices are being encouraged as part of the refineries' operations. The project is designed to meet international environmental benchmarks, making sure that economic growth does not come at the expense of environmental degradation. The refinery's construction is well underway and it's expected to be completed within the next few years. Key milestones such as the installation of refining equipment and testing phases will mark the project's progress. Barring any delays, it is estimated that the refinery will be fully operational by 2028. The importance of this project isn't just confined to Ghana. It's part of a larger global trend. Manganese is a critical component in steel production, and its role in the production of batteries for electronic vehicles is increasing. As the world shifts towards green energy, the demand for refined manganese is expected to soar. This positions Ghana as a key player in the global supply chain, potentially allowing the country to influence international markets for its vital resource. In conclusion, Ghana's manganese refinery project represents more than just a new facility. It's a symbol of the country's ambition to transform its economy by moving from raw resources export to value-added products. This refinery will boost local employment, generate revenue, and enhance Ghana's standing in the global marketplace. As Ghana continues to take steps toward industrialization projects like this, this will be vital in shaping a prosperous future for the nation. Stay tuned as we watch this exciting project unfold. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you like content of this nature, then like and subscribe to this channel for more of such content. Kindly turn on the notification bell so that you get notified the moment I upload any video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Until then, 
Peace.